Hello everybody, Swami here. Today we are going to see customer returns in SAP SDS4 HANA. Customer returns. So, let me tell you the process. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you in the live system. So first I'm going to create a sales order and then I'm going to deliver to the customer and build the customer. Now I'm going to create returns order and I'm going to returns delivery. This time it is post goods preserved. Previously it was post goods issue. And then I do, I'm going to do credit for returns. Let me show you in the live system. Go to BA001. I'm going to create a sales order, standard order, OR. I'm going to enter sales area BD LD01 LD LD. So 100581 is my customer. I'm going to enter material 4817 is my material. So I'm going to enter the quantity. So I'm going to enter payment terms, import terms. Double, double click onto this line item. I'm going to enter storage location. LD01 is my storage location. Net weight and gross weight. And gross weight. I'm going to enter the gross weight. So this is an order confirmation to the customer. So save. 11 6 2022 is my delivery date. So customer has given order to, to us. So this is my sales order, 14822. Now I'm going to deliver this to the customer. Deliver, go, go to delivery. So 116 is my schedule line still. Presenter, go to pick, picking. Picking is mandatory. Post goods issue. I'm going to do post goods issue. So I have done the goods issue to the customer. Now go to PF0. I'm going to build the customer. See, this is the billing. F2 billing, invoice the customer. I'm going to save it. Control S save or click onto this flop it. So I have done saving also. Now, because of the quality issues or some other issues, they are sending us back the material. Go to BA0. Returns delivery. I'm going to do returns delivery. Okay. RE. RE is my returns delivery. Copy with reference. Click on to copy with reference. Order. Click on to order. I'm going to select the order. Continue. My latest order, let me select the latest order. Scroll down. This is my order, I suppose. Yes, this is my order. This is my order. Copy. You want to copy. Now, remove this billing block because I have to do the billing. Click on to order reason. Let me do order reason. Damage during transit. Double click onto this line item again. Go to shipping. Let me enter net weight and gross weight. And gross weight. Click onto this save button. Six double zero double zero one nine five is my returns order. Now let me do delivery. This time it's PGR post goods recepting. Presenter one nine five. See now you cannot do picking because the material is in the customer's place. Post goods recept. 
see here previously it was post post goods issue now it is post goods reserve we are going to post goods reserve So I have done returns generated. So customer has done it. I put, I have done post goods receipt. Took the material and put it in my storage location. Now come back and do PF zero credit for returns. This time it is credit for returns. See it credit for returns. Save it. You can go to MMB and check the inventory. Check the inventory. My material is four eight one seven. Plant is LD zero one. Sorry, location is LD zero one. And I execute. So inventory gets updated when you do returns. Thank you.